It's, it's so nice. Like the colors, it's pretty, it's clean. Tools in hand, Hannah Wazork's love for welding stainless steel was inspired by her family and curiosity. I took some classes my freshman and sophomore year, and my uncles, my dad, my grandpa, they're kind of all in the trades a little bit. Um, so I kind of just want to like go after them. And it's something Wazork wants to take beyond the classroom. She wants to make it her life. I would say it's more of just like a hobby that's turned into a career, and it's a job and a career that I'll love. And But women like Wazork can find a career in a field like welding because of trailblazers who came before them. Real life Rosie the Riveters, whose barrier breaking work took place closer to home than you might realize. Recently, all Rosie the Riveters across the country received the Congressional Gold Medal for their efforts during the war. And that real life Rosie the Riveter is Rose Doberton. It's a common term they use now, Rosie the Riveter, that means all of the women who worked uh, in the war effort during World War II. But it just happens that my mother's name was Rose. During World War II, Dobberton was the poster girl for the Glen L. Martin bomber plant at Offutt Field. It was there she was a welder, welding aircraft parts, breaking barriers, and building for the future. I know she wouldn't have done that if it didn't mean the world to her. Dobberton not only making an impact on her daughter, but leading the way for other women like Wazurik to make a difference in welding one day at a time. It's not like I'm a trailblazer, it's just like I'm holding on to that torch, like keep it going. In West Omaha, I'm John Brown, your West Omaha Neighborhood Reporter.